Hey, welcome back to episode 4 of Remaking Doom. So, if you remember in the last video, I promised to create a new model for the pistol. But first, let's google some concept art. Oh, this one looks cool. Or this. But then, I realized that I'm not actually someone who looks at concept art that much. So, after getting some of my own ideas and of course taking inspiration from the concept art, I started making the model. So, here is the final result, and uh, I'd be honest, it, it actually looks pretty good and uh, professional and like an actual gun and not just two cubes stacked on top of each other. Now, time for some texturing. But now, we can just smart UV project it and no need to mark scene. Here's what the end result looks like. It's uh, actually pretty good, thanks to the metallic shader and I think it's time to put it in the game. Oh, and I also created this animation. Anyways, here what it looks like in game. Now we have to address a little problem. As you can see, we can uh, use our sword, but the problem is that if we stand right near the cube, no, no, that way, that way. Then we can damage it and probably destroy it without ever actually physically touching it. And uh, that's actually not correct. So let's uh, do another animation. Anyways, here what the new animation looks like. Uh, as you can see, we can if we try to hit now, then the uh, then the sword always crosses the middle of the screen, which means it's guaranteed to physically touch the object we are damaging. Now, another problem we have to address is that my game currently looks really really bad and also sounds really bad so I think it's time to step up the graphics and sound a little bit so for that we are going to use HDRP which is short for high definition render pipeline now the high definition render pipeline is actually a very great scriptable render pipeline for unity that makes your game look absolutely amazing and uh, uh, it's much better than the URP universal render like pipeline that I was using before so I'm going to switch to that add some post processing and uh, this is what the end result looks like so as you can see the reflections and metallic is uh, working a lot better and of course I have also applied bloom and overall the thing the whole scene is a uh, a lot more realistic looking and I think I am pretty happy with the visuals right now. Now before ending this video I am going to show you another model I created for the laser sword. So tell me which one you like the best in the comment section below. With that, bye.